I'm going to create a timber batten with dimension parameters so that I can use it in my projects over and over again and then just to change those parameters every time I duplicate the instance. So I'm coming up to Revit and I'm doing a new family and I'm choosing a metric detail item line base today. Um, the next one I'll choose is a detail item purely because I'll be using region fills for the next one. So if it's only line base, that's the one I'm choosing. You can see that because I'm in a family and it's a detail item family that I've got a reduced amount of tools. These are the only tools I need to create what I'm after. And I'm just picking lines. So I don't need to think about whether that's a detail line or a model line. It's just what I need for the detail. And I'm just, I won't worry about this. I'm going to create my own. Right, so I've created a rectangle. I'm going to click on these and just adjust them to the standard size that I like to use. So I might start with a 50 by 38, something I use a bit in the roof buttons. So I start with one so I don't need, you know, my most common one, so I don't need to keep tweaking it. And then I'm going to add some dimensions. So selecting the face of the line or the line itself rather than the I'm just going to use the tab key to see you can see the point. So selecting the two lines, I'm going to add dimensions. These won't print when they're brought back in. And I'm going to click on this item and up here on our options bar appears a label. So I've got a choice of adding a parameter and I'm going to call it baton width. This is a dimension parameter. Click on this one again, add another parameter I'll call it baton height. Now the only two parameters I've been using, or the ones I use the most common, is the dimension parameters and I often add a material parameter as well. There's a lot of parameters that can be added though. Now I'm going to create some lines, making sure that I'm clicking on the endpoints because what I want to have happen, this is our this shows that the baton is cut in cross section. If it goes from endpoint to endpoint, when this line moves, these lines will automatically update as opposed to staying at that same size. Now before I finish, I'm going to add some visibility settings to this baton. I want to change this line here to thin lines or light lines. I'll change the external line type to something maybe medium. I'll have to see how that goes when I insert. Maybe I should have left it at detail lines. But more importantly, what I want to do is select these lines again. You can see that we get some visibility options up here. So I want this to appear not at all in coarse, but I do want the outside of this to appear in medium and fine. So for example, uh, a course might be set at 1 to 200 just to give an overview of how the building's going together. I don't want to see this little 50 by 38 baton. It's going to look like a fat blob at that scale. However, when I switch to medium and I'm doing a 1 to 50 section through the house, I do want to see where the battens are, but I don't want to see this crosshatch. So I want to see it in medium detail level and fine. This little crosshatch, I don't want to see it at coarse or at medium. So when we do a call out of our roof and it appears at 1 to 20, 1 to 5, 1 to 10, I do want to see this crosshatch, but I don't want to see it at medium scale. Now because this is line based, they're my only options. With 3D models, you'll also get an option to, you know, whether it wants to appear in 3D view or elevation. I need to give it a name. You would save it to your Revit detail items library, of course, and I'm calling this timber baton. When I'm finished, I'm going to load into the project and close, which just negates the need to go in and insert that object, which of course I would do. So if I was wanting to insert it, if I'd forgotten to do that or there was another one I'd need, I'd just go straight to insert and load family and I'd navigate my way to wherever the detail items are clipped and bring them in.